Hey, what's going on YouTube and tech fans? Now we've all seen a lot of six gigabyte 1060 cards floating around the market and they had different scores varying between them. And now we're actually gonna take a look at something different though. Same card though, but with only three gigabytes of RAM. Or like the ladies say, he's just got a wee bit of a smaller pizza, you know. But everything pretty much about this card is the same as its six gigabyte brother. So let's just first jump in. You guys can see the box and the contents. Not a whole lot of stuff is going on here. I mean, it's an entry level card. You get what you need and that's pretty much it. On the top of the card, you guys can see there's a single fan with the EVGA logo and obviously, you know, telling you that it's a 1060 card. It's completely black. On the bottom, you guys can see the PCI slot featuring a single six pin power connector. And obviously with these cards, there's no SLI whatsoever. Like you guys have seen in our previous videos, you guys can use a pretty low end power supply. We were using like a 450 watt power supply and the car was working just fine in our system. On the back, okay, no back plate. I know I don't really like that. You guys probably don't either. But like I said, again, this is a very entry level card. As far as all the specs and everything, I know you guys have seen hundreds of videos on the 1060. All the other specs are the same. The only difference between this and its bigger brother is the amount of RAM. One has three gigabytes of DDR5, one has six gigabytes of DDR5. Beyond that, all the specs are completely identical. And in the rear I.O. we can see there's a single dual link DVI port, three display ports, and an HDMI 2.0 port. So for those of you wondering, hey, how does this card size up? Well, as far as how long the card is, it's 6.8 inches, and its height is basically 4.3 inches, and like usual, it features a dual slot design. The total power draw of the car is 120 watts and Nvidia recommends that you use a minimum of a 400 watt power supply. Out of the box, the card features a 1506 megahertz base clock and a 1708 megahertz boost clock. But with our card, we were actually seeing the boost speed at 1822 megahertz. So that's pretty damn killer for an entry level car that's only $199. So with that said, let's jump in really quick. Let's take a look at our test system. For you guys who follow the channel, you know we have an i7-6700K. We keep it in turbo mode at 4.4 gigahertz. And for the motherboard, we have the ADSRock Z170M OC Formula. For the memory, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 supplied by G-Skill, and this is their rip jaw. And real quick, before we rock out to the benchmark song, I just want to talk about the temps. A lot of people say I don't ever talk about those, but we do. You sometimes just don't watch the video. You just ask the question. But anyways, the temps on this card, when we were running at that 1822 megahertz, we were seeing about 80 Celsius on the card. Now, with that said, let's rock out to the benchmark song and see what the big difference is between the three gigabyte version and the six gigabyte version. It's just a wee amount, she said. Let's rock. <laughs>
Crytek Tech fan, so there you guys can see it. Now, the only real caveat I see about the card is it only has a single fan and it is running pretty hot at 80 Celsius. You know, not a whole lot of throttling was totally going on yet, but still running at that hot, you're not gonna be able to get too much more, you know, overclocking headroom. Beyond that, for a card that's $199, you guys can see the three gigabyte version, it's almost up there with the six gigabyte version. So if you're looking to save just a little bit of money, get an intro level card, you're maybe a person who plays a lot of RPG games, you're not totally superly heavily into the first person shooter and stuff, this might be the absolute perfect card for you. Not to say that it doesn't play those first person shooter games, but there are some of the other cards that do play them just like I said, a wee bit better. I'm Elric, you've been watching Tekken Tomorrow. Like usual, we'll have everything down below that like button, which hopefully you'll go Jackie Chan style on, and we'll see you guys back here on Tekken Tomorrow. So if you like this card, hey, check it down below. You can get more information or you get the cash, get that card in hand.